Now you may ask yourself, what does creatine monohydrate have to do in regard to helping overcome depression? And exactly how does creatine help overcome depression? Well, you're going to be surprised. At a research that came out of the University of Utah, they had come across some surprising results in how creatine is effective in overcoming depression. Now before I begin, keep in mind the study was done on individuals taking Lexapro and creatine and or placebo. However, the results on those taking creatine and Lexapro at the same time were actually pretty incredible. Let us begin the public citation title, Creatine Aids Women in Outmuscling Major Depression. Citation title for the researchers out there, a randomized double-blind placebo controlled trial of oral creatine monohydrate augmentation for enhanced response to a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor in women with major depressive order, which was published in September 2012. The reason I'm bringing it up now to at the same time is because now I found out the recruiting for adolescents at the age of 12 to 21 in regards to seeing how creatine may help aid in them overcoming depression. But let's go into the prelude of the study. I'm going to read kind of fast because this paragraph is kind of long, but you'll get the gist of exactly what it means. In proof of concept study, researchers from three South Korean universities and the University of Utah report that women with major depressive disorder, MDDD, who augmented their daily antidepressant with five grams of creatine, not a lot, just a small amount, responded twice as fast and experienced remission of the illness at twice the rate of women who took the antidepressant alone. You heard that right, remission. The study published in August 3rd, 2012 in the journal, American Journal of Psychiatric Psychiatry Online means that taking creatine under a doctor's supervision, keep in mind, you're talking major depressive disorder. You definitely need to have some medical professional assistance in regard to helping you along with this. And especially if you say, hey, creatine depression, please consult your medical professional and work with them. Our doctor supervision can provide a relatively inexpensive way for women who have responded well to SSRI, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, antidepressants to improve their treatment outcomes. Here's the study paradigm. And this is where the results are just amazing. I mean, just powerful, powerful results. The eight-week study included 52 South Korean women ages 19 to 65 with major depressive disorder. All the women took the antidepressant Lexapro during the trial. 25 of the women received creatine with Lexapro and 27 were given a placebo. Neither the study participants nor the researchers knew who received the creatine or the placebo. Here comes the meat of the study. The group that received Creatine showed significantly higher improvement rates on the Hamilton depression rating scale at two and four weeks. Now, this look at this graph. Look at the difference. You see the blue line going down. Look how they would, I mean, look how powerful that is. Just within after 14 days, the difference between just people taking Lexapro and the placebo and Lexapro and the creatine, and then it just gets better. Goes. Let's move forward. Compared to placebo group, at the end of eight weeks, here comes the line, which is the most important of the entire study. At the end of eight weeks, half of those in the creatine group showed no signs of depression compared with one quarter in the placebo group, and also no significant side effects to the creatine itself. You're talking half of those taking the creatine in addition to the SSRI, the antidepressant, show no signs of depression after eight weeks. That is powerful, powerful results and something that medical community needs to look into or work with your medical professional. The hypothesis on how this may work goes as follows. A recent preliminary trial also showed that creatine augmentation improves depressive symptoms in adolescents with SSRI resistant major depressive disorder by increasing the brain phosphocreatine levels. Henceforth, enabling the brain to have more energy, hypothetically this extra energy helps them overcome their depression. Again, I really hope this helps. Keep in mind that you, if for this case, major depression, so on and so forth, please definitely work with a medical professional. However though, the study is incredibly, incredibly promising and I truly look forward to the results in regard to the adolescent study, the 12 to 21 year olds, which is coming up hopefully soon. Again, this is Ralph Turciano signing off, and thank you very, very much for listening once again.